Good morning, morning, Facebook. Welcome to Sunday School mm -hmm. on August 30th, 2020. It's the end of the month. I know. Once again, it seems like we were just here yesterday, right? I know. It's crazy. Yeah. Maybe we can get done with 2020 soon. No. <laughs> I think we're all looking forward to 2021. I it's think been a crazy so. year. So, uh, we are glad to have everyone back. Mm -hmm. And we've been studying Solomon. We have. This is our last Sunday to study mm -hmm. Solomon, but why don't we recap before oh. we go with further? Well, that's a great idea. So if you guys remember, there were three kings of Israel, mm -hmm. right? And you just said Solomon. Well, we know he was the third king, but do you remember who the first two were? I think Miss Heather probably remembers. Yeah, so the first, first one, one was? was King Saul of the Old Testament, not mm -hmm. the New Testament King Saul. Old Testament. To That's right. So the Saul in the New Testament is the one that becomes Paul. Right. That's no, not who no. we're talking about. No. The other so Saul. first was King Saul. First was King Saul. Who's two? Second was King David. David. That's right. Yeah. And then King Solomon is the third king of Israel. That's exactly right. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Don't forget about me. Well, no. How can we forget about you, Zeke? Well, I'd like to help in the lesson today, too. Well, we would love that. We were just recalling things we've learned about Solomon. Do you think you could tell us three things you've learned about Solomon this month? Uh, absolutely. Well, firstly, Solomon was David's son, but not his oldest son. He was anointed king in secret. That's exactly right. So he usually the oldest son mm -hmm. becomes the king. Not the case here, right? No. Solomon was the youngest son. And if you remember, Zeke, the oldest son, Adonijah, he tried to declare himself king, but David was still alive, and he put a stop to that before he died. Mm -hmm. What else do you remember? What's the second thing you can tell us about Solomon? Uh, secondly, King Solomon was able to build a temple for the Lord. He was working on a building, working on a building. <laughs> Yes, he was. And it was a massive, beautiful temple of gold. That's right. This was actually, let's look at this picture for those of you that may not have seen him before. So this was the temple that Solomon built. And King David wanted to build the temple. He did. But God said, no. no, you can't build it. Your son, when he becomes king, that's who's going to build the temple. Good job, Z. Yep. So, um, you remember, there was somebody that helped him. There was another king, a neighbor, mm -hmm. named King Hiram, Hiram. And he gave him all the supplies that he needed, and it took seven years to build it. Can you believe that? Wow. Wow. Are you even seven years old, Zeke? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Some of our friends watching, I bet, are not seven years no. old yet. So, they could have been building the temple the whole time you may have been alive. And still not be done with it. Yeah. Wow. So, Zeke, you've done a great job, but do you remember one more thing? What's the third thing you remember? Uh, the third thing I remember was Solomon was the wisest, wisest man to ever, ever live, to ever live, to ever live. live. The wisest, wisest man to ever live was good King, King Solomon. Solomon. Good job. Good job. You like to sing, don't you? I love it. <laughs> Well, uh, Zeke, do you recall, how did he get his wisdom? How did he become the wisest man to ever live? He became wise because he asked God. Oh, that's right, Zeke. Good job, bud. I appreciate that. You know, God came to Solomon in a dream, if you remember that, mm -hmm. right? And God told Solomon that he would give him anything in the whole wide world that he wanted. And Solomon asked for wisdom so he could serve God and he could serve the people of Israel better. Mm -hmm. And you know, because Solomon asked for something for to help other people mm -hmm. instead of something selfish for himself, mm -hmm. because of that, God blessed Solomon and he gave him great riches. Mm -hmm. And he blessed him in so many ways and allowed him to live a long and a healthy life. He did. He did. Mm -hmm. And you know, but God did tell him that he had to obey his laws and commands if he wanted to live a long life. Right? That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of that. Thanks for filling in the gaps for me. You're welcome. Yeah. So, um, you know, we really appreciate your help, Zeke, mm -hmm. but we want to get to, um, you know, learn about something new. So yeah. maybe we'll we'll let you go to your little spot and we'll learn something new today. Okay, I'm going to take the stairs today so I can get some exercise. 
Oh, yes. Please do. (laughs) (laughs) He's so funny. (laughs) He's so silly. Well, we learned last week that after the temple was completed, the Lord appeared again to Solomon. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe we should see if our puppet friends can can help us with the scene. And, you know, in this first scene, Mm -hmm. Solomon is going to be talking to God. Okay. So we won't see God, but we'll get to see Solomon. Look at these marvelous structures the Lord has allowed me to build. The temple is complete. I have prayed many times to the Lord to hear the prayers of his people and forgive their sins. I have heard your prayers, Solomon. I have heard what you asked me to do. You have built this temple and made it a holy place, so I will be worshipped there forever. But you must serve me as your father did. You must obey my laws and do everything I command, and I will bless you forever. Lord, I intend to follow you just like my father, David. Solomon, you must not go off to serve or worship other gods. If you disobey me, I will tear the temple down. Yes, Lord, I understand. So, God gave a very strong warning to Solomon about what would happen if he didn't follow him. Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 ain't that one of them commandment thingies? Well, yes, you're exactly right. See, that is actually the first of the Ten Commandments. That's what I thought. Yeah, God says you're supposed to only serve Him. Yeah, yeah you're exactly yep. right. Yep, 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 yep. So, I just wonder what happened next. Well, there's quite a few things that happened between the time that Solomon built the temple, which we talked about last week, and we said this was the last week we were going to talk about Solomon, so we've got to cover some ground here. Mm-hmm. So a few things that happened in that time frame, you know, Solomon, he was very thankful to King Hiram because King Hiram had helped him build the temple. Mm-hmm. So he actually gave land to King Hiram, um, and he built cities, Solomon did. He built cities all around Jerusalem, and he met with people that just came to hear his wisdom. A, a lot of people that yeah. came to hear his wisdom. From all over the world. All over the world. They, they traveled from yes. everywhere. And he was very famous. He was. Even though there wasn't things like Facebook and social TV, media. Yeah, no no TV, radio. But no. yet all over the world, mm-hmm. people knew about Solomon. They did. Mm-hmm. And you know how I think they learned about Solomon? No. By word of mouth. Mm. You know what that means? It's when you find out something and you go tell somebody else the experience mm-hmm. and then they go tell somebody else and Really, we should be doing that anyway when we talk about God. Yeah, that's true. So, you know, Solomon had an opportunity to really spread the word about God, but Solomon sinned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. Well, let's take a look and maybe see if our puppets can help tell the rest of the story. That's right. I want you to see what Solomon did to sin. I have made an alliance with the king of Egypt. And now the Pharaoh's daughter will be my wife. She will come to live with me in the city of David. Yes, I will be your wife. Look, there's a pretty lady over there. I wonder if she will be my wife. Yes, I'll be your wife. Uh, There's a pretty lady over there. I wonder if she will be my wife. Yes, I will be your wife. No, and another one over there. I wonder if she will be my wife. Yes, I'll be your wife. No, and another one, over there. Yes, I will be your wife. And another one, over there. I wonder if she'll be my wife. Yes, I'll be your wife. And there's another one. Will you be my wife? Yes, I will be your wife. And another one. Will you be my wife? Yes, I'll be your wife. Look, another one over there. I wonder if she'll be my wife. Yes, I'll be your wife. Wow, Miss Heather, it seems Solomon married any pretty lady that came along. I can't imagine. I can't imagine that either. Mm -hmm. How many people did he end up marrying? Do you know? I do know. Okay. And it's a lot. Get ready for this. Solomon had 700 wives and 300 girlfriends. No. I know, right? Wait a minute. 700 wives. Mm Mm-hmm. 300 girlfriends? Zeke, are you good at math? Can you help me add those up? That's a thousand girls! That's a thousand girls. 
Golden Girls. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Mm -hmm. You think he remembered all their names? Oh. I doubt it. I can't even remember my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all have difficulties sometimes. I know that. But do you know what, Zeke? What? Because he married more than one woman, he was actually breaking another commandment. Mm -hmm. He was. It's called adultery, and that's mm -hmm. what he was doing by having all of these wives and girlfriends. He was. Mm -hmm. And that's actually the seventh commandment. If we remember our fingers, that's remember right. there's no other God, mm -hmm. and, but seventh was adultery. So yeah. he was committing adultery. And all right, so a thousand women, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm an accountant, which means I work with numbers quite a bit of the time. And there's 365 days in a year. Mm -hmm. So if Solomon tried to have dinner with a wife or a girlfriend, a different one every single night, it would take about three years for, yes, for You're Solomon, kidding. no, for him to have dinner with every single person. So each wife only got to see him like once every three years. Mm. Whoa, whoa, yeah, that's crazy. But you know what? Committing adultery was not the worst sin that he did. Mm. There's something a lot worse that he did. And I think our puppet friends are going to teach us this lesson. Okay. So why don't we watch? All right. Okay. Sounds great. Let's do. Now I have all these wives. Maybe we should all worship the Lord. But King, in my land, we worship Astrid. Maybe we can build a place to worship this goddess. Uh... That is something I cannot do. God told me to only worship Him, so I cannot build an altar for another God to worship. But we're not asking you to build the altar. We would like permission to build it ourselves. You do not have to do anything. Well, I guess it would be okay if you did that. But I will not worship Asherah. Solomon, we would like to ask a request of you. What is it you would like? In our land, we worship Milcom. Could we build an altar to our god Milcom? I just don't know about this. God told me not to worship any other god but him. He might not like this. Please, Solomon. You will not have to do anything. Plus, you let them build an altar to Ashtoreth. Surely you don't like them better than us. Oh, no, certainly not. Well, I guess it'll be okay if you build your altar for Milcom. Solomon, we would like to ask a request of you. What would you like? Well, in our land, we worship Shemuth. Could we build an altar to our god Shemuth? Well, I guess since the others did, you can too. Do you think you can help us build it? We know you don't want to worship with us, but maybe you could just help us get it built. Uh, I don't know. I don't think God would like that. Huh. But I guess that'll be okay if I just help you build the building. My wow. goodness. I know. Shaking Shake, my head, too. It's crazy. Solomon just keeps getting himself in more mm -hmm. and more trouble. He does. I and do that sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but not like Solomon. Mm, not that bad. No. no. And no. he was so wise, but yet he made a really bad mistake. He did. And um, this wasn't the worst of it. Mm -hmm. So he allowed, you know, the different people to build the temples to their gods and their goddesses, but... What was even worse is he helped them build some of them, which mm -hmm. was bad, but then he started stopping by and worshiping their gods and goddesses, which is mm -hmm. the thing that God, the God, our God, mm -hmm. said, you cannot do that. No. And then he started doing that. Yeah, that was terrible. Mm -hmm. So, you know, before it was all over, he was worshiping like 700 different yeah. gods, yeah. but there's only one God, mm -hmm. and the one God was very, very angry with he Solomon. Was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know, he told Solomon that he was going to take away the kingdom from him, but if you remember David, David was Solomon's dad, and mm -hmm. David was very loyal to God, to mm -hmm. the God, the only God. Yeah. He you remember what it says about David in the Bible? What's that? It said that David was a man after God's own heart. heart. It did say yeah. that. Yeah, so he always served only God. 
Well, and God promised David that he would bless Solomon. But now Solomon has done all of these things that go against God. Mm -hmm. So instead of God taking the kingdom away from Solomon, he took the kingdom away from Solomon's children. That's right. You know what? Sometimes as kids, mm -hmm. we get ourselves in trouble. Mm -hmm. Right, Zeke? That's right. Yeah. Well, but, but our parents, because they've prayed over us, and God has told them that he's going to protect us, the mm -hmm. kids and so sometimes even though we deserve to be punished by God he doesn't do it because of our parents prayers for us that's very true mm -hmm. and grandparents yep yeah that's right I bet your parents and grandparents have prayed for you Zeke haven't they they probably need to a whole lot <laughs> <laughs> well all of this story is found in first Kings chapter 11 first Kings chapter 11 mm -hmm. all right do you have that Zeke First Kings chapter 11. Chapter 11, old. big 11. That's right. That's right. Good, Good job. job. <laughs> got, 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 got. <laughs> well, that reminds me of our memory verse, so I think we should do our memory verse today. Okay. And it's also in First Kings. Okay. And it's chapter 11. Big 11. Big 11, verse 9. Little 9. Little, Little 9. nine. That's Good right. Job. How does it go, Miss Jenna? It says, And the Lord was angry with Solomon because his heart was turned from the Lord. God of Israel. That's pretty a lot to remember. Let's see if we can say it. Maybe we can break it up. Okay. All right, so maybe I'll say it and okay. y'all can repeat after yes. me. And you at home can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it's in 1 Kings 11 and 9. Okay. 1 okay. Kings, Kings 11 and 9. And the Lord was angry with Solomon. And, and the Lord was angry with Solomon because his heart was turned. Because his heart was turned from the Lord God of Israel. From the Lord God of Israel. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking that every time that we're thinking about other things mm -hmm. other than God, our hearts turned. Yeah. yeah. And that upsets God. It does. Mm -hmm. Well, we know that Solomon ruled over Israel for 40 years mm -hmm. before he ended up dying. That's right. Yeah. So why don't we sing about that temple that he built for us? Let's sing, let's sing, let's, let's sing. sing. <laughs> yes. All right, you ready? Get your builders yeah. ready. Here we go. We are building up the temple, building up the temple, building up the temple of the Lord. We are building up the temple, building up the temple, building up the temple of the Lord. Good stop, Zeke. Yeah. Like you've been working on it, practicing I, all week. Uh, yeah. You can <laughs> tell. So have you also been practicing our song where we're trying to learn the books of the Old Testament? Mm. Oh, yeah, that one, that one, one, little, two, little, three, little books of the Bible. <laughs> oh, very good. I like how you did that. Mm -hmm. Well, let's try it. Okay. Now, we're only doing the first 12 books, okay? I think maybe we should count these, even on our fingers. Mm -hmm. We don't have 12, but we can go through 10 mm -hmm. and then... That's and two, right. Right? That's right. Let's see if we can do Let's that. Let's try it. Ready? Here we go. Genesis, Genesis Exodus, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings. Yeah. Now, we're going to start learning the rest of the Old Testament mm -hmm. soon. So if you haven't learned that, you might want to rewind and start practicing because we're going to get a few more. And remember, if you want to maybe read ahead and figure out what the next books are going to be, you can mm -hmm. always look in your table of contents in your Bible. And it'll tell you what the, we've got the first 12, mm -hmm. but it'll give you all the rest of them too. That's exactly right. And if you do, you might figure out what next month's lesson's going to be about. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. You can get a head start. That's right, a little challenge there. Yeah. So I think it's about time for us to be ending today. Okay. So we might need to remind everybody of church. Yes. So you, you want to do that? Yeah. So church is on this page, Murfreesboro Missionary Baptist page, at 12, oh, not 1230. 1030. That's right. 1030, you guys. Mm -hmm. And if you can come, you're always welcome to come to our oh, church. Absolutely. And it's located at 316 Fortress Boulevard in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And 
right now we're still social distancing in church and uh, most people wear their mask mm -hmm. you don't have to mm -hmm. but we do have the aisle set up for that we don't cross and yeah. every other seat we can sit in so uh, we would love for you to come or mm -hmm. just watch us online yes ma'am absolutely so you want to close us in prayer today i can okay, okay. all right zeke are you going to bow your head and pray with us i'm going to do it all right let's all do right. it all right Dear Lord, as we come to you today, we thank you for all of our many blessings. We ask you to forgive our sins. We know we sin daily, and we just, we're, we're sorrowful for that and, and ask you to forgive us, God. Help us to look to you and to always uh, follow you as closely as we can, Lord. Thank you for, for, um, for our puppets that help us learn our lessons. Thank you for all of our friends that are watching online, and then all of those that can be in church with us as well, God. We ask you to be with the lost, be with those that are sick, be with those that are struggling with whatever the, whatever it may be, God, that you would just always help them be with us and um, just help us through everything and, and every day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Zeke. Bye. See you later. <laughs>